at the time. I was doing uh, work as a reporter, uh, as well as working on CFCA. It was a part-time job. And uh, I happened to be coming into the uh, Star office around 6 o'clock at night. And uh, I had finished what I thought my work for the day. And uh, Basil Lake, the radio editor of the Star, came up to me and said, you have another job tonight. You're going to broadcast the hockey game. Uh, apparently, they had canvassed the entire sports department to get somebody to do it. And uh, for some reason or other, no one was available. So I was the only one left, and uh, I didn't know enough to turn it down at the time, which I was rather fortunate I didn't. So I just went over there and, and did the game. And unfortunately for me, it went 30 minutes overtime. Well, of course, we didn't really have any equipment in the true sense, uh, anything like we have now, of course. There were no microphones even. Uh, we used a telephone, and uh, the idea was that uh, we were located, for instance, on the boards right at the penalty box. And they built a little cubby hole for me about, uh, I think it was about five feet high and about three feet wide and glass on three sides. The only trouble was whoever built it forgot to put any air holes in it. And I had to keep opening the back door every once in a while because the glass kept uh, uh, clouding up. Uh, we were trying to find a proper location at Maple Leaf Gardens. Uh, we, we knew we had to be at a height. That was the ideal location because in the Mutual Street Arena, we had operated up in the, in the rafters there after our first experience down below. The architect and myself went down on Bay Street and we found that the best height, best location was on the fifth floor. So we adapted that at the gardens to that height. And that's how we ended up on the on the top part of the main beams at the gardens. The first time I ever went out, uh, I went out on my hands and knees. Uh, they just had a plank at that time, a metal plank, that went from the, uh, what they call the fan room. Uh, you, you went out from the fan room, which was at the top of the grays. And then you went up a catwalk or a stairway that was more like going up uh, on the bridge of a ship. And you'd reach the top catwalk, which was about 90, 90 odd feet high. And then you'd walk straight along uh, parallel to the ice surface and go to the middle. And then there was a, a ladder there that had a 90 degree drop and it went right into one end of the gondola. Of course, they called it the gondola because an advertising man suggested that it was like the gondola of an airship. It had that appearance.